Hi, my name's Elizabeth Joyce Morris. I'm playing Anna, Jack's wife. Um, Anna goes on a real journey, I think, through the course of this film in learning how to understand Jack and how best to support him um, through his troubles. Um, it was a real challenge to play and to put myself in the position that, that she was in. Yeah, I keep trying to imagine what he's going to look like down there, you know, afterwards. I keep trying to picture him with just one ball. I can't do it. When it comes down to it, when I actually see what they've done, I have no idea how I'm going to react. But I had a great team and, and we worked really well together. Um, and obviously having the writer Jeff on hand was um, a, real, a real bonus because we could sort of pick his brains as to what he was going through and, and how this actually felt to really be in this situation. Um, Previous to this, um, I really focused on theatre and stage work, live performance. Um, this is my first feature length film and um, it's, uh, it's very different, um, mainly in the sense that if you get something wrong, you get to do it again and again and again. <laughs> uh, I expect the outtakes for me are about four hours long. Um, yeah, it's been very enjoyable. The most challenging scene would have been the argument scene between me and Jack. So when were you planning on telling me? I was planning to tell you and I knew what it was. Oh, so the first I hear about it is, oh, guess what, I've got cancer. Thanks a lot. Uh, fairly close to the beginning, um, just because we had really only just started working together. We'd not worked together very much before that and to get a sense of realism and... Um, oh, you sound as if you're assuming it is cancer. And what if it isn't? And all this has been a big fuss about nothing. Yeah, to really portray what we needed to, it, it took a little bit of time just for us to bounce off each other and, and get that right. But um, yeah, it came together in the end, I think. My favourite scene to film was the one where Jack actually shows me the operation. Um, just purely because it meant I really got to challenge myself as an actor in terms of reactions and, um, and sort of really being able to portray what I was feeling internally to the audience. So. Favourite location we're here at Chesterton Windmill, uh, which was one of the first scenes that we filmed and it was so beautiful, it was such a lovely, lovely day. We almost got burned on our shoulders, but we really did enjoy it. And um, yeah, we were blessed with the weather. It was much like this, it's beautiful. Um, not to mention it's just down the road from where I live, which is really convenient. I don't know what to do. What do you want to do? What do your instincts tell you to do? I want to wake up tomorrow and find it never happened. Can't do that. I know. Try again. The fact that this is a, a real man's story, that this, everything that's in this film has a, um, a relevance to Jeff. It's, it's there for a reason. And I don't know, it, it touched me. And, and I love the idea that we get to do something that might make a difference somehow, that might enlighten people or, or teach them something that they didn't know and make them feel more comfortable about going and, and getting themselves um, looked at and checked if necessary. Um, yeah, I like the fact that we might be able to make a difference. I suppose just that if people have got a few pennies in their pocket, it'd be nice if they could donate some to Orchid, which is a fantastic male charity. Um, they work on all sorts of male cancers, not just te testicular cancer. And, um, you know, ultimately that's what we're doing this for, is to raise money for them. So. That's my only personal message is please, if you can, donate some money. For more information on ORCID and to find out how you can help, visit the website today at www.orchid-cancer.org.uk.